suckers, you grew up on the hard streets of Wagga Wagga, yeah. um, and then made your way to Hawthorne, plenty of success, serious injury, you kind of crammed a fair bit into your time at the Hawks, how do you kind of reflect on that period of your life? Yeah, I was obviously, I thought I was a bit lucky to get picked up by the Hawks, I suppose, as an 18 year old. You I, were, yeah, yeah, I can confirm yeah, that. You I was were. a little bit chubby, overweight, <laughs> and a little bit lazy, so yeah, I'm glad they took a chance on me, and um, yeah, I think I started my career with five one year contracts, so um, that was definitely uh, an interesting time, I suppose. Was that uncomfortable for you? Yeah, it was, yeah, so I, I struggled to break into the senior side, obviously, they, they won the 2008 flag, and um, they were pretty successful, so. They made a lot of guys work pretty hard to make a yeah. debut and um, a slow start but then yeah worked my way into the senior side and um, was lucky enough to um, have five, five or six years of um, sustained success. People forget that you missed out in the 2013 Premiership yep. Yep. with a knee injury. How, yep. Take us back to that time, how, how hard was that on you? Um, yeah it was obviously a really disappointing time for me personally. It was, great for the team and all my close mates, but yeah, definitely bittersweet for me. Um, the previous year I played all 25 games and um, we're probably the best team all year, we thought, and um, Sydney pipped us in the grand final 2012, so to lose the grand final, then do an ACL and watch all my mates win the flag the next year was, um, yeah, it was obviously pretty hard, but... Um, pretty hard, how? Well, it was, yeah, it was devastating. devastating, obviously, yeah, I couldn't really be around the team that night and celebrating and stuff, I found it a little bit too hard. So um, yeah, it sort of spurred me on to get back and lucky enough for me, 2014 and 2015 were great years and was lucky enough to play in two myself. Yep, so you're playing two flags in a row, which is an unbelievable achievement, an incredible era at an incredible footy club. And then you moved to the Dogs. How, how did that sort of move come about and was it was it with a heavy heart? Yeah, definitely. Um, probably. Growing up, everyone wants to be a one club player, and um, I thought that was going to be the case. But um, during the 2015 season, um, there were obviously opportunities to explore my options, being a free agent. And um, I'd obviously worked with Bevo pretty closely for three or four years, and um, really got along with him well, and knew the way he was going to be a coach. And um, yeah, I found myself quite often laying on the couch watching doggies play each Sunday, and yeah, right. um, I really felt like that was a place that I could come and um, enjoy my footy. And, um, at the end of the year, there was an opportunity that presented itself and yep. yeah, I jumped at it. Yeah, well, you, you, you came across to the Bulldogs and, and I was lucky to inherit you as a, as a locker neighbour. You took the, took the number one locker um, and you had, a, you, you had a big impact on the locker room straight away. The guys who ran our locker room, they, they took a liking to you right from the start, didn't they? Yeah, Bigsy and Red, I became mates with them pretty, pretty quickly and I think they're good blokes to have on your side, especially the amount of banner they like to throw around. So I feel like they decided that you were going to be their mate before you'd even sort of said hello yet. They kind of latched on it like, he's, he's ours. Yeah, you're probably right there, but no, I was definitely happy with that. <laughs> do you feel like in, you know, in the, how many years now at the Bulldogs? Four. Four, yeah. Do you feel like in that short period that this, this is now home? Yeah, yeah. It feels like I've been here a lot longer than yeah, four years. I was years, say, four so, years sounds like So I think unders. that's a great sign that, um, yeah. yeah, I fitted in well and um, yeah, I really love being here and hopefully there's a few more years to come.